and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about um, all things sewing. What purchase did you make that you never even use? So it was like a spur of the moment purchase. You thought that you would use it and then it just like sits in the corner. Um, another thing that we're going to be talking about is what I have been up to like as far as sewing lately. And then since this is part of the hashtag Friday Sews, we are going to be talking about your favorite sewing book. Oh, and then a few of you have been wondering like what I've been doing to lose weight. It hasn't been a lot of weight, but I'll also share some details on that. So first, I do want to thank you for watching my video on Wednesday, the pattern. Oh gosh, I already forgot about it. Yes, that one right there. Thank you. And uh, so if you missed that one, make sure you go and check that out. So make sure you go ahead and check out that pattern review as well. Let me just get started. So with the book, the, I'm going to share with you a sewing book that I actually really loved and I still pull it out all the time. It's got some neat little projects in it, but you know, now we have Pinterest. So this book I bought before Pinterest, I've been sewing for a while now. I remember having a sewing vlog, so Pinterest wasn't even a thing yet. And, but anyways, okay, so let me show you. It's called One Yard One. Wonders. Yeah, One Yard Wonders. And it's got like 101 projects and it's all with fabric that is one yard. So it also comes with the patterns. Oh yeah, I remember I bought this from Barnes and Noble. And I've also put in here different things that I've marked. So like a pantry bag. And this I actually think would be really cute. It's like a laundry bag that you can hang up. So it also saves space. Let's see, so like an apron, and here's like a cute little department. But this is 101 sewing projects. Let's see, is there anything? So I made a couple of things. Oh, I remember making this car bag. You just hang it up in the back of the car. Ooh, this one caught my eye too. It's a, a tablet bag. So that one would be cute. Oh, and I also made this. I remember making that. And I don't remember where I put this stuff. Oh, here's even a pattern. See, I haven't looked at this for a while. It's got a lot of cute different patterns in it. So that one right there. And then I also had made this dinosaur one a long time ago. I don't know where it went. There's also the cutest dog pattern in here. And I don't know what I did with it, but I remember making him. So that's cute too. So this is so fun. So you don't, because sometimes I don't know if you guys are like me, but Pinterest will actually soak up so much of my time. I kind of have to set a timer so that I don't, um, you know, I would hate to say waste, but yeah, I kind of am wasting time on Pinterest. So this one is fun. I think I'm going to look through it again this weekend and pick out a cute, just something fun to sew up. So my latest obsession has been embroidery. Like I don't have an embroidery machine, but my mother-in-law has an embroidery, mach embroidery machine. And I was over there and I, I like, I need to want to get myself an embroidery machine. We just did something so simple. I'm gonna show you. Uh, my dad is a veteran and he actually helps other veterans um, file claims and try to get the benefits that they want. Sometimes the paperwork is like so difficult. So anyways, I made him this patch. It's just a small little, you know, not an official patch, but just this thing that says uh, veterans matter. And I love it so much because I'm gonna, I'm not finished with it, but I have these clear snappy bags. Let me see if I have a different one that is better. I don't. Okay, let me just put up a picture. So I make those, I actually have kits for them. So yeah, a small plugin. You can, I'll leave the link in the descriptions tab below if you wanna purchase a kit to make a cute snappy bag. But I was thinking I'm just gonna like put this on here like this and you know, he can just put whatever he wants in it. But what we were gonna make, but I just kinda ran out of time. Let me see if I can find, I love these patches and now I can't find them. I, let's see, I have this, okay. 
So I love putting patches on bags and stuff like that. I think it is it is such a cute detail. And so, for example, this is all that I have right now is um, I attached this Moab patch onto my Camelback. And I think it gives it such a cute detail. And actually, people will always ask me, like, where I got my bag. Because they think it's like a special edition bag that I bought from Moab. And I'm like, no, you guys, I just sewed the patch on it. Then I have been following so many YouTube channels about embroidery. So let me know if you're into embroidery or what are you currently obsessed with? with right now are you binge watching certain sewing channels or a certain skill because i'm going to tell you another thing that i've been really wanting to do is the sublimination printing uh where you can just print let's see i did a screen print where is all of my stuff hold on Okay, so I found the other patch. So this is the stuff that I would love to make if I got an embroidery machine. This one, I'll have to give a shout out. It's so cute. I got this one from an Etsy shop called Lucky Sardine, and it came like this. And I love putting them, oh, I'll, I'm gonna show you another patch. So there's a picture of one of my hats when I go hiking and I attached this Life is Good, which is another one from this company that I got the patches from. So I put it on that hat. So that one, so yes, that is something that I'm currently obsessed with. What is something that you bought? You thought you just had to have it. Let, like, did you buy like a long arm quilting machine or a quilting machine or a printer or a heat press or a Cricut and you spent a lot of money on it and it just sits there? I want to hear your stories because for me, I never do spur of the moment purchases, which, you know, good on me that I don't do that. Because even with this, I'm like, I wanna purchase something like this, um, but I don't wanna waste my money. And before I buy it, I need to make sure, okay, where am I gonna put it? And do I have time for it? Because I'm kinda of thinking if I buy one more thing for one more hobby, like I'll never come out of this this room. Like my husband would probably have to slide food under the door for me to eat. <laughs> okay, so anyways, share with us your last um, waste of money purchase. We wanna hear about it. Okay, so a few of you, well, actually kind of a lot of you have been wondering like, what have I been doing to lose weight? And I haven't, okay, I've lost like 12 pounds. It's not a lot. Here is like a before picture. So you can see that my face uh, looks kind of like swollen. And so now, you know, it's a lot uh, skinnier, I guess. And what I've been doing, and I remember I, ex I vlogged about it in April is when I started and I was like, I'm just gonna stop with the sugar. And I love how Michelle put it on Michelle Sews. It's like, when we talk about weight loss, it's like, it's not about you or how you think I look. And it's not about like how I think you look. It's only about me and why I decided to lose weight. I just know that most of the health problems are caused by what we eat and being overweight and diabetes causes so many health issues as well. And so I've had like just a few family members have some health problems and I don't want to ever take advantage of my health. And so I wanna be proactive with my health. And I wanted to lose a little bit of weight because I had gained a little bit of weight. I usually gain and lose the same 20 pounds every six months to a year. And so this time I, was having a hard time losing, you know, like 10 pounds. And the only thing I could do is uh, eliminate sugar. Now, please stay with me a little bit here. Um, usually you don't wanna eliminate anything from your diet because supposedly it's a lifestyle change. But what was happening is I was eating sugar in moderate, moderation, like let's say like a little bite-sized candy bar, but it was sabotaging my day because it was just creating more cravings. And so I could never stay in like my calories because I was just craving 
food. And so I was eating food, but I was really craving the sugar and I was trying not to eat the sugar. So I was eating like more food, which means more calories. And so I was never losing weight. And so basically the key is, is you just have to eat less. So it was hard to eliminate sugar. So I still eat fruits, but I eliminated, like I was eating yogurt and a lot of those yogurts have like 30 grams of sugar in them. So I've just, you know, I don't even eat ketchup anymore. But how I got to that point is I was watching YouTube videos on how bad sugar is. It creates so many health problems. Um, I don't get any more brain frog. <laughs> I don't get any more brain fog. I, I don't get the stiffness anymore. And so that has been really good. And then also, um, I've been able to stick within my calories, which are like between 1400 and 1600 calories. If I don't like work out or anything like that, it is 1200 calories, but I'm able to stick with that and not feel like I'm starving because I'm not eating sugar, which is giving me the cravings, right? So hopefully a light bulb just went off that you, we don't need sugar. Uh, except for I like the sugar in my fruits. I created a t-shirt that kind of like says it all. Let me go and put the t-shirt on and then I'll be right back. So if you are enjoying this video so far and you're excited for me to come back with my new shirt, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. Okay, you guys, so here is my shirt. Okay, so I didn't make the t-shirt part, but I designed this. So more, eat less. Okay, so a lot of you guys know too, yeah, I go hiking, but even when I go hiking, I tend to eat more. Lately, I have actually gained back two pounds and I, so I have to watch myself because even when I go hiking, that doesn't mean I'm losing weight because what happens is I eat more because I'm hungry, but I got to remember, it's it really is calories in, calories out at the end of the day, and you have to eat less. So you guys, if you are looking to shed a couple pounds or just you know feel better about your health, you have to eat less. Eat less than you did the day before. So I designed this on the shirt. You can purchase the So More Eat Less if you want to. That was kind of just like a funny thing that I did for me, but I guess I will put it up in my Etsy shop. But I did make another shirt that says So More Worry Less. And so I just think these shirts are really cute. I love to also do graphic design. You guys, I love anything creativity. So you will want to check out some of the fun t-shirts that I put in my Etsy shop. But the moral of the story is there's not a magic weight loss pill. It's something that we have known for years, which is to just eat less. So 12 pounds down, I'm really happy with the way that I look and I feel. Oh, but here's the other thing too. You might say, oh, Delilah, I tried that and I was miserable, which yeah, like the first couple of days I'm like, I I don't like the way I feel, but I'm gonna keep up with it because that is only temporary, okay? And I would used to like not stick with it because I'd be like, well, I wanna be happy. Well, guys, I am happy. I've lost 12 pounds and so yeah, I'm happy. I mean, like, do I look like someone who is miserable? Okay, make sure that you check out the other Hashtag Friday Sews. Also, if you want to see more of my videos, I have a playlist of my pattern reviews right here. Also, my other Hashtag Friday Sews. So I do hope you get a lot of sewing done this weekend. So until next time, happy sewing. Bye, guys.